Well, welcome back in. Sometimes we can be our own worst critic, but it is important to remember to have a little grace, especially when it comes to ourselves and for others. So our leadership expert, Pete Blank, joins us now with on how to do that, with more on how to do that, how to I do should that. say. I'm going to give grace. Give a little grace. To myself <laughs> for messing up there. It's all right. Good morning. How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We took a little uh, pilgrimage. This, I, pilgrimage is the wrong word. I went to Graceland this yeah. weekend for the first time ever and walked around Graceland. So I started thinking about the whole, that's not why it was named that, but I'm like, you know what? Grace is such a fun word. We should talk about it today for Monday yeah. motivation and kind of, kind of what it is. What is grace? Yeah. Tell us. Well, my definition is it's sort of allowing people to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. without the fear of humiliation, without the fear of going, I can't believe you did it that way. So when people do make mistakes or mess up family, friends, kids, you don't just jump down their throat. You're like, all right, I can see where something might be going on and sort of rather than just jump in and correct them, give them a little bit of space, a little bit of room without the fear of humiliation or Let's making fun of them. Have a little patience. To have patience. Grace. Patience is, is a good one. And, and some of the things about that are you never know what people are going through. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what one of my big things is we never know what people put on behind their mask. There could be a facade going on. There could be something weird happening in their lives. And so uh, when you think about grace, it's like, well, why should I? They're, they, they look like they have it all together. Mm -hmm. They look like they should know what they're doing, but we don't know. Yeah. We don't know what's going on in people's lives. And of course you can like mentally say, I'm gonna give this person grace, but, but how do you act on it? How do you give grace to sure. people? Sure, well, a couple things there. We, we've gotta forgive a lot more mm -hmm. than we do right now. We've gotta be able to tell people. You can see kind of a list there of things we can talk about. Empathy is a big one. We've got to be empathetic because when people make mistakes, we're like, well, if I was doing that, if I was doing this news intro, I wouldn't have, messed, wouldn't have up. messed up. I wouldn't have messed it up. Yeah. Um, if I was in charge of this, if I was in charge of IT, uh, the systems would never if go down. I was down. coaching Alabama football. Uh, yeah, they would never be. I would know yeah. where to start. And so learning to be empathetic to other people and letting go and all of that. But one of the most important things, and I think you said it in the intro, is we can't give grace to others till we give grace to ourselves first. We put so much pressure on ourselves to mm -hmm. do right and say the right intro and be the best and do all these things. We got to give ourselves grace and say it's okay to mess up a little bit at times there. So those are some things that I threw up there that I think might help us. I love this. this. Yeah. That is some great Monday motivation. Yeah, exactly. And I, you know, you, you guys being on TV all the time and you're like, we've got to get every word right and all these things. We hey, we're back in the kitchen. <laughs> and we're getting to know Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we follow?